Hello, this is Todd Williams. I'm a dermatologist at Asheboro Dermatology and Skin Surgery Center in Asheboro, North Carolina. And tonight I want to just take a few minutes to talk to you about um, a concept known as dysplastic or atypical nevus. Now, nevus is a fancy doctor word for a mole. And the cells that are in a mole are known as nevus cells. Now, the vast majority of moles we are familiar with, and there is not a single problem with those moles, and each of us in the public see those all the time. But when a mole turns cancerous, meaning that the nevus cells turn cancerous, that mole can evolve into a dangerous tumor that many people have heard of, known as malignant melanoma and we refer to that as black mole cancer. Most melanomas are very dark, uh, almost black, very dark brown, navy blue. Some are not, most are. And so on one end of the spectrum with moles, we have nevus or regular mole that we're familiar with. And on the other end of the spectrum, we have black mole cancer, which is malignant melanoma. And that's a dangerous cancer that if it is not treated effectively and it spreads, it definitely can cause disability and death. Um, but in between normal mole and melanoma, there's this area that is referred to as dysplastic or atypical mole. So a lot of times the doctor removes a suspicious lesion that he or she thinks could be atypical, could possibly even be a melanoma. And it comes back that some of the cells in that lesion are atypical. And so the question arises as to which of those dysplastic nevi are really significant and really require more intervention. And this is a subject that has a little um, differences of opinion on in the literature and it's not what I would call controversial, but there are um, differences that people hold. But for the most part, uh, what most dermatologists do and most dermatopathologists do, a dermatopathologist is the dermatologist or pathologist that reads that slide under the microscope, is to lump those dysplastic nevi into mild which a few atypical cells, but closer to the general nevus side. Moderate, which is where you have more atypical cells, kind of a little bit worrisome, not terrible, but not normal. And then severe, which is where you have a lot of atypical cells, a lot of disorder. Um, it, it's very different from a typical mole, but yet not quite melanoma. And so in that spectrum, we want to treat what is the most appropriate lesion to treat. And as a rule of thumb, and this is a little different depending on the circumstance, a mildly atypical mole is generally not going to cause a problem and those moles can just be followed for the most part over time and, and most dermatologists do not treat those beyond the original biopsy. Now a moderate atypical mole, sometimes it just depends on the perspective of the provider or how big the lesion is or how new it is and some of those need to be uh, excised uh, in one way or the other to make sure there is no residual um, atypia. Now with severely atypical moles that are more hovering towards the melanoma side, those need to be removed in some form or fashion. They need to be completely eliminated because there's more risk of those evolving into a malignant melanoma. Some patients are prone to having more dysplastic or atypical moles than others. There's a syndrome genetically wherein about 7% of the population has the gene and those patients tend to have more atypical moles and they need to be monitored uh, more closely. We have our patients that have this situation or syndrome checked regularly in our office. We also educate people on the changes to look for, such as color, irregularity, rapid changes over a few months' time. And um, certainly for patients that have a personal or family history of melanoma, their risk is a little higher. So we really take their situation with atypical or dysplastic moles even more seriously. 
the majority of this plastic molds wind up doing well and uh, most patients do quite well if they are treated accordingly but since it's a slightly um, complicated issue I thought I'll give you a few minutes of information just to kind of clarify how we as dermatologists think about these lesions and I certainly appreciate your time tonight.